world record states as follows. The world's most prolific murderess was the Countess Elizabeth Bathory. By her own count, she butchered 610 young virgins. Fact or fiction? Was she a grotesque vampire stalking prey in the dark of a moonless night? Or a depraved mind seeking victims for a macabre ritual of the occult? You be the judge when you see the true story of the legend of Blood Castle. The Countess Elizabeth Bathory, esteemed member of the royal family, convicted by holy court of high crimes. Was she a true and malignant vampire filled with a fetid stench of death? Or was Elizabeth Bathory a diabolical pawn dedicated to the unnatural rituals of the occult? Transfer the virtues of this unclean reptile. Transfer the virtues of this unclean reptile. Cunning. Power. Fascination. Cunning. Power. Fascination. And give them to this humble servant. So be it. Carl Zimmer, Count of Bathory, and husband to Elizabeth. Was he an inhuman vampire seeking blood to sustain his life? Or was Carl Zimmer a malevolent creature capable of loving only the victims of his own hand? What do you want of me? This is Mona, lady-in-waiting to the Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Was she a grisly tool of the devil bent on entering her mistress into the grotesque sacraments of evil? One can only win when one takes a risk. And a person needs much valor to enter the various highways which are offered to us by the forces of the occult. Or was Mona an innocent victim of the holy court, sentenced to a most cruel punishment for the crime of standing by her mistress? As judge, you alone can commute her sentence. The legend of Blood Castle is the true story of the Countess Elizabeth Bathory, as taken from court records and eyewitness accounts of her trial. The Holy Court found the Blood Countess guilty of 610 murders of young maidens. The Holy Court, either through fear or negligence, failed to probe into Elizabeth Bathory's motives. Certain evidence would show that Elizabeth Bathory was a malevolent vampire, requiring the blood of living women to sustain her life. Other facts recently made available points to a much more hideous conclusion. These facts would show the Countess Elizabeth Bathory to be a diabolical handmaiden to the devil, serving her master's Satan in a grotesque sacrament of the occult. We will present to you the evidence, and you shall be the judge when you see the true story of the legend of Blood Castle.